Hi Barbara, it sounds like that's a Generation 10 uh, video, but here's here's what I suggest you do. Open up your sliders page and just make a copy of the amazing slider, just like so. Copy paste. Drag it into the root folder up where your index page is. Now open up the uh, index page and open up a copy of the slider here. And we're just going to go to the amazing slider page first and right here in the code where we have the slider style sheet link, just copy this go into the index page and when the parallax slider style sheet is paste it in place next this scroll on down and we're going to look for the showcase which is right here and basically just grab all this code here for the default slider background and the content wrapper and go to the index page and scroll on down and we're going to find the showcase area right here pretty much looks the same just this one is for the parallax slider background and we're going to paste it inside there. I'm just going to quickly go down to the bottom of the page to make sure that we don't have any extra script or anything down here. I don't see that. Nope. And index page. Make sure there's nothing we have to remove. Do 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 do. Nope. All looks good. So that's all we have to do. So let's just test this out. We'll save the index page. All right. So there we go. Okay, so there's that, and then what we can do is, um, let's go, what was your other question? Yeah, I'd have to apologize for that, because a lot of times I'll put those instructions out, specifically with style information, it gets moved around as things get updated and whatnot, but the tutorials sometimes don't, or often won't. The best thing to do for anything that's style related is uh, Chrome or, or Firefox and get Firebug or just use the inspect element in Chrome. So basically for the, the logo here we're just going to do a uh, inspect element like so. We're just going to right click on it and we're going to go and look for the, uh, the website name uh, right here. Okay, let me get this down here. So we're looking for the website name and then it tells us where all the bits and pieces are, are stored okay uh, for example the components.css line 68 so it has been moved uh, but here we can see where all the the font size and the cool thing about using firebug for this is we can change things around like we can change the uh, go to 40 pixels to see if that's the size we want we can change a color right here to see if that is a uh, a good color or a different color that we want to go with right so there's white right and we can change the font family as well um, and play around with different font families and and or you know depending on your level of comfort in working with this type of panel but at least it tells you what style sheet and what line to go to so in this case if things have been moved it goes to the site styles components .css, and we open that up and scroll on down and here it is right here here's all our uh, pretty much all our website information. Now that secondary color you see, that's that color right there. That's the the second color, or the uh, this this light blue color here, and that's the color right there. Okay, and the uh, original color is right here, and uh, there we go.